Assalamu alaikum guys, hello. Today we're making cheesy pasta bake and this is a little preview of some of the steps of how I made it. It's so easy and it's fuss free, it's literally whatever you've got in the house. Um, you can try and make it work so it might not be completely authentic but this is my take on it. So you get a heavy bottom pan and fry one chopped onion and then some mushrooms into this um, pan so you just fry it off until you soften it and then once it's softened starting to brown a little bit you add in your spices so they would known mudsido red chilli flakes paprika chilli powder so really really simple not over complicating it at all you can add in any herbs and spices jerry marzia tarikola smircha spices no milk, Sarah said though. <laughs> this was actually for my family, so I was sending it over for my nieces and nephews and my mum and dad and brothers, so they don't eat too much spicy food. So this is me kind of just sauteing uh, the mushrooms as well. So once they softened, I added in um, cream cheese. This is one tub of cream cheese, but as you see further along in the recipe, I added in another one just to get the desired um, texture. You can use the flavoured cream cheese. Um, you can use, I don't know if you want to make it healthy, or use yogurt or full fat cream. I was trying to avoid using the full fat cream. So this is me just giving it a good mix. So just giving it a really, really good mix. You can see that the cream cheese is starting to incorporate the onion and mushroom mixture you just keep mixing it until it loosens up now this step looks really weird but just bear with us you can add in a wee stock cube in water or if you could avoid this step and just add in milk and this looks really really weird at the moment but if you give it a bit of time it allows a the cream cheese to loosen up a little bit. This is the other tub I'm adding in. As I said, just to get the right texture. So you're just gonna cook this till it gets to the kind of right thickness. It looks really watery now, but now we've put the cream cheese in and once we add in the cheese, it will thicken up really, really nicely. You could make a roux if you wanted as well with butter and flour and milk. Um, but this is just my legendary spinach and mushroom cheesy pasta bake so you can add in chicken and meat as well this is one of those days we were trying to avoid it so at this stage um, even you could add this in when you put the pasta in put your spinach I had a little bit of frozen spinach and I had some fresh so I just put it all in and it looks really really nice aesthetically with the creamy colour and the green looks nice and once you've kind of thinned out the liquid and you add in your cooked pasta this was quite a big batch I was making for my family so this is like one kilo I think of um, bag of macar pasta or macaroni so what to do is we're gonna mix it get it coated really really well and let the pasta absorb some of that flavor You can see that the liquid's already thickening here, so I'm just topping it up with spices again. Salt, pepper, uh, lal mirch, chilli flakes. This was just the kind of few spices that I stick to for uh, this recipe. You can obviously add in whatever else you like. So I just topped it up because I had a wee taste and it, was, it didn't feel like there was enough in it. So, given that I good to mix all the additional spices and herbs that I've added in and then we're going to add in one pack of mozzarella cheese. You could add in cheddar cheese, whichever you fancy. I think cheddar cheese would probably have more flavour but all I had at this point was one bag of frozen grated mozzarella cheese. Um, cheese is the kind of thing that goes off quite quickly so I just freeze a little bit as soon as I buy it and then you've just got it there when you need to make something like this. Freezer's your best friend. Um, and this was like a wee tiny bit of cream cheese that was left. 
uh, in the pack so I just added that in but it was a total of two packs of cream cheese that I added in and this is again for a really really big batch you would need to adjust um, your spices and your quantities I've just added in a bit of um, Italian herbs because I wasn't going mad on the spice you need to flavour it somehow and you can see here yeah, the sauce is nice and thick and the cheese is kind of incorporated really really well so you're just going to cook that through make sure it's really really warm together and everything's well combined now just to you're wanting to thicken it and you're wanting to thin it as well so you want to get it to the perfect temperature you don't want it to be too hard you don't want it to be too runny so added in a wee bit of milk to make it a little bit creamy you could have just added in milk at the beginning or even a stock cube in milk added in some water and look I made so much mess here so I'm cleaning that up <laughs> as I'm cooking and just got to again make sure that it's all coated and it's got enough liquid in it you'll know yourself some people don't like that much liquid some people like a lot um, I think it should be kind of in between um, just so it's coated and it's not dry and then when you bake it in the oven it's going to lose some of that liquid so you want there to be a, to be a little bit runny because it will thicken up as it cooks and can you see there it's beautifully um, creamy and it just looks so good to eat there at that stage so you could even stop there and you know me I keep topping up my spices <laughs> this was for kids so I had to really really go easy with myself and our family we have a little bit more spicy food so I always add in a lot more than we need because that's how we like it but when I'm making it for somebody else I have to be really really careful and not go in too heavy handed so you can see it's nice and boiling away. I think this is perfect stage to get it into the baking tray. What I did was, you'll see this shortly, I put it into the baking tray and just topped it with a little bit more cheese. You could even add in some breadcrumbs, like crushed, get one bread and put it into a blender and just put it on top just for a crispy kind of baked feeling. Another step as well that I added in was sweet corn. Um, because I didn't have enough mushrooms, I wanted to kind of fill the dish out a little bit. So that, again, this is optional. But I added in some mushroom, um, some spinach mushrooms and sweet corn, just tinned sweet corn. And it adds a really nice element in terms of the colour. You can see the greens and the yellow it looks really nice. And you can see the odd glisten of red chilli flakes. So... This is where I stopped, so at this stage I just got the oven baked uh, tray out. You can line it with um, or grease it with some butter or oil and then you put it in. Look at this roasting, boiling hot. Looks delicious. So again, I mean you don't even need to bake it, you really really don't. It's literally edible, perfectly edible at this stage. But just to make it more... Yummy. I mean even at this stage you could bake it and then pop it in once it's cooled down pop it into the fridge for a meal prep for a meal later in the week and because you've prepared it and you've put the cheese and everything in it when you bake it in the oven it literally brings it back to life so it's really good to try that if you're in a rush or if you've made like a couple of portions you could just freeze some or kind of put some in the fridge for another meal another day and I mean it's so easy, you just need a few ingredients and you've got a tasty family meal uh, ready to go. As you can see I've just garnished it with a little bit of dried parsley. And you can serve this with salad or garlic bread or just on its own. It is so tasty. I highly recommend it, my niece loves it, my niece always recommends or suggests that I make this for her, it's one of her favourite things that I make. So I'd really recommend it, it's really good for all the family and I'm sure it's one of those crowd pleasing dishes that everyone in the family would really enjoy so I really hope you try it. If you try it please let me know, leave me a wee comment and a like and do subscribe. Thank you. Like, share, comment and subscribe.